It's been several weeks since I've last recorded. I have to go out for the daily essentials and I have to take all precautions as possible. A lot has changed since I've talked to you. Very much I am enjoying so far. Alright, don't know what the fuck that was, but welcome back, CBV Squad. How is it going? I got that front door open with the natural light coming in. It's a beautiful day outside, actually. Check out this. Look at how beautiful it is out here. It's so nice. So nice. Yeah, very beautiful. I'm gonna go get some food right now. Um, got paid on Monday. Ooh, no, keep the light, sorry. Got paid on Monday, so um, I'm gonna use 200 of my paycheck to buy a bunch of groceries, but I'm gonna go get some uh, pizza right now. I know, no more pizza. I'm not getting pizza, I'm not. I'm actually gonna go to get some legit pizza from like a pizza place that actually makes the pizza and it doesn't come in frozen. Um, I'm gonna go try, we have this place here in the Grand called New York Richie's. Um, if you're not from here or Pendleton, um, Pendleton also has one, but they have some good pizza, like great pizza. Um, I think I've told this story before, but once in Pendleton, I got free pizza because I waited so long at the table for the them to actually take my order. The owner gave me free pizza and a free soft drink, which is cool. Um, but, no, um, I don't know if they actually still do pizza here at the Le Grand one, which I hope so because I want to, I want to go get some pizza. And if not, I'll just go to, uh, local harvest here because they are really good so I might actually just end up just going there um, because I'm really craving their they have this like three meat pizza that's really great it's called the meat carnivore or something I like it I'll I might just go there actually I'll let you guys know and I'll show you guys what's up guys I just got done watching a very emotional video um, I have not gone out and got food yet. It's been an hour or so since I said I was going to do that. So I'm going to head out now and go do that. Try to recuperate. Um, I've felt a lot of emotion the last few days. And... I'm just trying to do things like vlogging the podcast just to get my mind off some of the stuff that's been on my mind um if you guys want to know what's truly seriously been on my mind um i've been worrying about this um so-called coronavirus that's been going on and i am seriously a bit worried and I don't know how to feel about it. I'm trying to stay positive. I have a trip coming up to Walla Walla, my yearly G3 trip, that I'm hoping will take my mind off of it. I am just extremely nervous, even though, I mean, it's right to be nervous because it could potentially spread throughout the US which they're saying might happen but I'm just hoping that we get some of the best researchers on this to prevent the spread of it even though they said it is unlikely preventable 
but I'm just hoping we can. At most, now that it's out of the hands of us as people, if it gets that stage out of the hands of what we can do, the only thing I can suggest is just praying, like, praying about it. Praying with strength and asking God, like, please help us. That's the only thing I can think to do. But anyways, that's enough about me. That's what's been on my mind. Let's try to keep this vlog positive and going. I don't want to have this vlog be upsetting. So, I'll see you guys in the next clip. What is up, guys? Sun's in my eyes. I probably look really clear to you guys, but to me, I'm just, oh. Sun shiny in my eyes. My arms feel like they want to collapse, which is kind of weird. Uh, my muscles hurt. And I don't know if it was from my workout I had the other day. But I got the pizza. Um, yeah, I sat in there and ate. I had some leftovers. And before you little suckers start judging me, no, I didn't order a large pizza to myself. I ordered a medium. I'm not stupid. I mean, I get it. Yeah, I order a large dom a large Domino's or large Pizza Hut pizza to myself, but that's a different story. This is a like a this is like actual pizza. That shit's not pizza. That's frozen bullshit. That's frozen bullshit. You threw cheese on and called it a pizza. Pizza Hut is not real pizza. Okay. That's my opinion. I simply just do not give a fuck. Now, you guys might think otherwise, but that's just my opinion. So, I'm currently on my way home, trying to hold my pizza box and vlog at the same time. Well, my arms really want to collapse. I don't even know if you can hear me at this point because traffic is so busy. I think it's practically almost rush hour. Who knows? Who, who knows? Yeah, I'm on my way home. Gonna go home and uh, find something to do. Gotta keep them positive vibes up. I have to re-record the podcast, guys, so the podcast will not be up today. The vlog and podcast might not even be up till the scheduled days they're supposed to upload yeah so they might be uploaded later like Friday or something I'll probably upload the vlog first since it'll probably be the easiest to upload because the podcast is usually about 30 to 40 minutes so it takes a little bit longer for it to upload whereas the vlog yeah the vlog is the same length but I usually have a lot easier time uploading my vlogs than I do my podcast. So I'm hoping that you guys do enjoy this video. Got my pizza. Gonna go enjoy it. Um, well, actually, no, I've already enjoyed half of it. I'm gonna put this in the fridge. I'm gonna go home and sit down and watch some YouTube. Or actually, some probably some Hulu. I don't know. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I have some shows on Hulu I need to catch up on, but I will see you guys in a moment. What's up, CBV squad? I just uploaded the podcast. Go over and check it out um, at chadwickbombvlogs.com. Now, I won't be able to post the podcast to Facebook like I once stated. I, yes, I have the Facebook page, but I think it's due to uh, um, the like situation, so I need... Um, I need, what what is it? I need more likes on the page, I think, and able to upload a 30 minute podcast to it in video format. It won't let me upload it for some reason. So if you guys have any answers to that, if I do need more likes, then yeah, go like the page. But if you have any answers, um, comment down below and let me know. But it is up and I got the stuff done I needed to do. Um, 
We gotta order a battery for my PSP. I got it back over there on the shelf until that battery comes in. I bought the Game Boy so I can play some of these games I bought the other day. And yeah, now I'm just gonna sit down and test these games and have at her. So I'll see you guys in the next clip. What's up, guys? Rocking my new shirt, my uh, straighten it out here, my instant ramen. Instant lunch ramen shirt. I like it. I bought it with a bunch of other cool shirts. I'm gonna wear to um, the on my trip to the G3 conference I go to every year. Last year I was the talk of G3 because everybody was liking my dope shirts. Um, yeah, it was fun. So speaking of which, I still have to get everything for that in order. To wait for my taxes to come in to be able to do that so yeah so hopefully it's not too much but I know I should get everything booked but I uh, don't have the funds as of right now to get everything booked my next check I should um, I gotta pay bills but the next check after that will be about the time I go on my trip. So hopefully I get paid while I'm on my trip. So I, that way I can have taxes and my paycheck to use towards that trip. Um, yeah, I want to be able to get it booked and figured out. So I'll let you guys know how that goes. So yeah, I'm waiting to hear back from Brandon. He finally got a hold of me. I'm going to see if he still wants to go get food if not then I'll see but anyways I'll hit him up yeah he's just not answering so I'm just gonna go to Burger King and uh, get something there since he doesn't want to answer me um, yeah they got some good deals going on so I might try some of those so I will let you guys know All right, guys, it's now getting dark outside. Um, yeah, nothing went to plan. Um, Brandon didn't really feel like doing anything. And yeah, so now what I'm gonna do is go home. I'm gonna get all my stuff together and I'm probably gonna head to the gym. I'm gonna go head to the gym and I'm gonna go actually to the uh, the local Grand Ronde Fitness gym here. We have other gyms, but I like this one because they've got a pool and a sauna, a hot tub, a lot of fun stuff to do. Um, even a racquetball court, I might do that. But I just like uh, going there because the gal, one of the gals that works there, I really like. She's uh, nice, not like as in love her, no. She's an older gal and she's really cool. So I just like going in there and chit chatting with her. And I think it's fun. So that's what I'm gonna do. So I will see you guys. That's how we do it here at Chadwick Bomb Vlogs. What's up guys? So I've made it to the gym. I'm currently sitting in the gym hot tub because it feels so good. I just got done swimming. Um, yeah, I just got done swimming, as you saw by the previous clip there. Yeah. Uh, first try for that. Yeah, that was the first try I shot. Well, I did it first try without filming, and I was like, well, maybe I can do it again while filming. And I did. I made the shot while filming. I know this is pretty risky, holding my phone up above the hot tub. And I've had instances where I've been holding my phone and I've dropped it in the toilet before, but this, I don't think I'll drop it in here. At least I'll try not to. But yeah, guys. Um, hopefully you're enjoying the vlog. I'm glad I'm taking these days off of mine to kind of relax and kind of just get to um, just be
be with myself, you know, I've been with myself these um, last couple of days. And it's nice, I like it. Oh, water's dripping, I don't wanna get on my phone. Even though my hands are already sorta of wet, so. But anyways, um, I'm gonna enjoy this and then I'll probably catch you guys in a minute. Hello, how are you doing? So I was very, very naughty. And yeah, just want to start off by saying that. Apparently I have all these Gatorades around my house that I haven't been finishing. But that's not what I was going to say. No. Um, yeah. I was very naughty, guys. So <laughs> I went to the gym, as you saw. Um, in the last clips, I went to the gym, but what did I do after the gym? Well, you should know that the, um, eventually, the gym, sorry guys, I'm a little out of it, but you should know that the gym is right across the street from my work. So after the gym, I grabbed my bag, hung it up, um, went into my work, and did some drinking and some singing some karaoke. Now, mind you, I'm not drunk, although it may seem like it, but I'm just phased, I'm buzzed, and it just kind of makes me like take a little longer to process thoughts, but no. I am definitely not drunk, but, so, I literally about cried, for reals, I seriously almost cried, I'll tell you why, because I was drinking, hanging out with friends, and having a good time that I ran into there, and just, you know, having a good time, and getting to be myself and well I mean not really Jade you know just being myself you know and letting loose you know not really caring about what people say and yeah well little did I know some of the people that I saw in the bar some of my friends that I saw in the bar were going hey Jade how you doing like calling me Jade and all this and you know it what I will say it was a little awkward to me because right now I'm cave I have the beard well as I'm getting ready to leave I'm cashing out and filling out the ticket and one of my co-workers comes over she was in there as well it was her day off as well so she comes up to me and says hey um, what are your pronouns? I said, pronouns, question mark, because I didn't want to, like, admit anything. She's like, you, you know, your pronouns. She said, everybody back there was calling you, uh, she and Jade, and so I just opened up and said, well, you can just call me Cape. That's fine. You can just call me male. She's like, no, what do you want to be called? And she's like, I said, well, I don't like to do this feminine stuff at work. And she's like, no, 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 that's, that's okay. I won't do it in front of anybody at work. And so I said, okay. Um, I said, if you want to call me Jade and <coughs> use female promount, pro, <laughs> pronouns, pronouns when nobody's around, that's okay by me I'm totally fine with that and she said awesome will do and left and literally about made me cry literally I almost cried because I was oh, so touched by it. it's not very often that I get people actually coming up to me and saying hey listen if you would have just said something I would call you by these pronouns that sort of thing you know and it's like it's so touching and 
literally makes me want to cry because it's awesome and beautiful and I don't usually get that opportunity. What's up guys? I might be going to the bar later. I was going to go as Jade, but I decided not to because I'd have to shave and do a lot of shit that I don't want to do right now. Um, I'm kind of growing out my beard a little bit. Um, I'm going to have to shave it for here too long because I can't have a long beard at work. So um, after my trip, I will definitely shave it. Um, might even possibly consider getting a shave while on my trip. I might find a place and give a review. But anyways, I'll think about it. Um, I mentioned in the podcast, which I haven't mentioned here yet, for my yearly Walla Walla trip, I've got that all set. I've got my hotel set. Um, bought my ticket for uh, the G3. I just have to show them my email confirmation when I get to the door. Um, I still have a couple of things I need to get. I um, picked up some things at Safeway the other day. Um, I bought these little travel bottles for my uh, shampoo and whatnot. So that way uh, um, I can put my shampoo and uh, body wash in here. And it's got a little water bottle one for like uh, some... I guess cleansers, I guess is what it is, or you can put water in there, I guess, for doing your hair. I might use it for that, I don't know. And I also picked up a little travel, travel body wash they sell. I actually use this exact body wash, so that's great. So I don't have to put my body wash in any of those, and I picked up some deodorant and some Q-tips, because I like to clean my ears after I get out of the shower. So yeah. Um, that's how that's gonna go and that trip's gonna go good So yeah, I'm definitely thinking I might be going out tonight. Not sure, but I'm trying to watch my money. I have four hundred dollars um, From my tax returns. I had eight hundred but I had to buy a couple of things and I also paid for my uh, Hotel so yeah, I in the past I've stayed in motels, but I'm not dealing with that this year. I know I said I was probably going to do an Airbnb, but after checking out several Airbnbs, I wasn't sure how it necessarily worked. So I just essentially ended up going with a uh, hotel. Um, yeah, I'm going to bring my bike this year. So I bought a bike helmet, as I show in the podcast, which you will see. Um, I bought a bike helmet, and... And yeah, I'm gonna bring my bike this year so that way I can get around easier rather than walking. I know it's not an issue with walking. I mean, I'm fine with walking around. It's just with the uh, hotel I'm staying in, I've stayed in this one before and it is a little bit of a distance from the church, not much, but yeah, it's just a little bit of a distance, and it'd be a lot easier to bike there than it would to um, walk. It'd be faster. And it's a lot cheaper than me, because this last time I stayed at this hotel, I had to actually call a taxi to the hotel to take me to the church, and I would rather not um, pay all those taxi fees my entire trip. I'd rather save my money for stuff like food and whatnot. So... Yeah, that should be fun and totally amazing. And I'm going to have a good trip. I still have to get some laundry and stuff done for the trip and pack my bags, but it's not till next week, so I'll have I'll have actually Wednesday to do all that stuff because I have my normal days off and then my trip. What trip starts Thursday, so but I have Wednesday off and then so Wednesday I'll get everything done. And I also have Monday and Tuesday to get some stuff done, even though I work. I don't uh, close on those days, so I get off fairly early. So that um, gives me time to do all that. So yay. Um, yeah. So I plan to have a really good trip. And we'll definitely be vlogging on the trip. I'm going to bring this camera with me. 
along with my backpack, so that should be fun. So I will definitely let you guys know how that goes. Hey, what's up guys? It's Saturday, March 28th, 2020. It's been several months, or not several months, I mean it's been several weeks since I've last recorded for the vlog. I have to go out for the daily essentials and I have to take all precautions as possible. It may be a little hard to hear me, but a lot has changed since I've talked to you. And when I get back, I will explain that. Hey guys, how's it going? It's um, been a while since I've posted the vlog. That was uh, purely just for jokes, that deal I just recorded. Um, yes, but it has been several months no, not several months, it's been several weeks. I keep messing up, sorry. It's been several weeks since I've last recorded on here. Um, last you guys heard, I was on my way to uh, my trip um, for the G3 conference I go to every year. Well, unfortunately, due to due to uh, COVID-19 that was canceled. Um, everything has actually been canceled. Um, even my work got shut down, so I have been unemployed for the last two weeks. Um, I filed for unemployment, haven't received it yet, but I will be receiving it once I start um, claiming. I have to claim, uh, have to claim every week and I have to put um, that I am a part of the COVID-19 um, layoffs so yeah but a that's what's been going on a lot has happened since I've last recorded everything was fine and dandy last I think I recorded I went to the gym and I can't even do that because that's shut down. So things have been crazy. I'm technically supposed to be staying inside, but I needed to go out for the daily essentials. Um, needed to get me um, some food. I unfortunately had to apply for food stamps too because I don't have any food in my house. I've been going down to my parents' house and getting food or going down to the Spruce Street Market down the street from me, which I'm currently doing. But I I want to stay positive for you guys, but it's been a very stressful time, and I just man I just try not to go crazy. But being locked up in my house and not being able to do anything is very difficult. I'll tell you that much right now. But as I have stated, I had I have to go to the store, so I gotta go out for that a little bit. But the unfortunate part about applying for food stamps is they want me to do an actual face-to-face -face meeting, possibly for the interview process. And I'm like, really? I just oh, I gotta meet with someone face-to-face. -face. I mean, I'm not worried about getting it, but such a place of DHS with all the people that wander in there daily you never know what's bound to happen so it's crazy anyway guys I'm here um I will see you guys in a minute oh shit what's up fella oh my head is crooked what's up fellas and lady fellas I'm back um as I told y'all I went to the store um, yeah, I got a lot of good things uh, at the store actually. I just decided to do a little bit of uh, shopping at the Spruce Street Market and got me some groceries that lasted a couple of days so I don't have to go out on this anymore. Until I have to go to my appointments. Yeah. Um, but no, I got a lot of good things. I got cereal, I got some uh, taco stuff. I just need to pick up some meat if I can somewhere. Um, what else did I get? Oh, I got SpaghettiOs. Um, 
cheese, milk, yeah. Oh, um, let's see, what's that, what else I, oh, oh, um, I didn't get anything else, but I wanted to mention while I was down there, I felt bad because, uh, there, they had a policy down there at Spruce Street now that, um, when you go into Spruce Street, you have to be accompanied by an adult, an adult, if you're under the age of 18, or I think it's, well, 18 or 16, I don't remember, but you have to be accompanied by an adult because of the fact that they just don't want to spread COVID-19, so, yeah, so unfortunately, you have to have an adult with you, so... I felt bad because they had to turn some kids away and they said I really do not want to get in trouble. So yeah, that's how that's going. But anyways, I'm currently, as you saw me set up, um, I am in my podcast room slash green screen room. I am going to try to record some music. So I'll let you guys, I'll let you know how that goes. Please excuse me. I know this seems very childish and weird, but... I'm going to be eating a Hershey's bar for this video. I can only actually eat like about that much of a Hershey's bar because if I eat more than half of a Hershey's bar, it makes me incredibly like sick to my stomach. So let's just do it. Mm. Mm. Very good. It's good. I do like milk chocolate, but uh, but I'm already getting the awful taste of chocolate. In my mouth, so. I'm only going to probably eat half of this because I don't want to be sick for the rest of the day. Alright. Oh, I have you on my face. That was me eating half of a Hershey's bar. I don't know why, but I just thought it was a good idea for this video. Guys, this video is going to be really super long. It's going to be a really super long vlog. I can already tell. So. I want to end it here. I want to say thank you for tuning into this channel. Um, one thing I do want to mention is support your local businesses and restaurants during this time of COVID-19. Um, I know it's not the healthiest option, but if you can, please order takeout from your local businesses so they can stay thriving. We we need to represent our local businesses, especially here in Grand, more than ever because I know a lot of people are gonna take a hit from it and gonna be affected. And I just feel so bad. If I had the money going around, I would seriously be helping these businesses by donating to them or ordering takeout, you know, to help them out. But. That's what we need to remember is uh, to help our local businesses. I just wanted to say that before I popped off here. But guys, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And stay tuned for more videos from me in quarantine. Um, I'm sure um, I'm going to come up with a lot of fun ideas. There will be some more um, Cabe and Dan videos coming on the Funk Master Bomb channel. If you guys are interested in those, make sure to flop over there and check it out. Funk Master Bomb at YouTube.com. It's all one word. Um, you can find it there. And thanks for watching today's video. I know that um, this video has been all over the place, but I hope you guys enjoy.
Oh, yes. Close. Currently, I'm going to start working on a... Well, I can charge it with the base. Just going to find the base. Plus the... Uh, 